Hey guys, it's Casual Savage and today I'm going to be showing you how to change your weather if you have a lock screen theme. Okay, so I'm just going to show you the theme I've got. Or well, lock screen theme, as you can see, it says Rotterdam. And I'm not from there, I'm from Birmingham. So. Basically, for everyone that wants to change it, you will need something called iFile, which you can download from Cydia for free, and that's what the icon looks like right there. So once you have iFile, what you want to do is open it up, and you want to get to this place. Uh, so you want to go to var. Well, yeah. yeah. From this part, you will start off. Uh, you first you want to go to var. Then you want to head over to stash, uh, which is around here, which is right there. Then you want to go to themes. Oh. And obviously this is now winterboard. And you basically got access to anything. So the theme I'm using is right here. So you find a theme you are... Uh, oh. You find a theme you are using. And open the folder up. So now you can see we have loads of things here. And what you want to do is look for block background .html. Now you want to click on it and click text viewer. Okay, so now I'm just going to pick it up. Okay, so what you want to be looking for is... I just actually have to find this myself. Instead of looking for the camera. So you have to just scroll down a bit until you do see whether... And it is around here. That's a month. And here we go. So, as you can see right there, it is the weather. It says weather script. And what actually changes the weather is var local, which is right there. Now, you can see there's a um, seven digit code, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, yep, seven, seven digit or number letter code, whatever you want to call it, right there. And now you want to make sure you change that to your post uh, address. So you want to head over to Safari and you want to uh, go to weather.com, which is right there. This will automatically take you to the mobile website, which you do need. And then you just type in your address, or it might just come up like this. So if it doesn't, you just type your address in up there. Postcode or the city you live in. So then what after you've found the place, you want to click on the URL. And uh, now you can see that right there, where it says UK. Uh, or the 7 digit code again. You want to copy that. That part right there. Just copy it. Uh, now you want to head back over to iFile. So now you want to click edit, which is on the top left up there. And uh, now you want to go to uh, the seven digit code. The camera focus, there we go. And you want to just highlight it. And cut that out. And then you can just paste your one in. Like that. And there you go. And if you are, <coughs> would like in Fahrenheit, where it says true, you want to change that to false, where it says uh, var I S uh, Celsius, you want to change that to false, so then it does go to uh, Fahrenheit. So then after you've done that, you just click save on the top right up here, then you click done. Now you just need a quick respring, and it should all be sorted. So I'll just wait for it here. It shouldn't take that long. Watching the England game at the same time. England giving away a free kick. 83rd minute on the edge of the box. And this it still isn't respringed. It will be in a minute. There we go. So I'm just going to wait for it to load up so then you can actually see the lock screen has changed. And there we go, it has in fact changed. So, I'm just going to pick this up and show you. 
right there, it has changed to Birmingham, uh, this camera focus, there we go, it has changed to Birmingham right there, and the weather has changed as well, and I'm just going to show you one more time for a bit of proof, if I go to the stock weather app, you can see Birmingham right there, and that is on the local weather sign right there, don't think you can see it that good. There we go, you can see the difference there. So that is how to change your weather, and it also allows you to change your city or postcode, whichever you would like. And, yeah, that's basically it. And I'm now also going to be showing you how to change the language if it is in a different language. Okay, so now this next one, uh, how to change the language. Uh, I currently do not have the lock screen theme on, uh, but it does work. And also, I do, I have already changed it to English, but it was originally in French. So I'm just going to show you real quick. So you do the same thing as last time. Uh, so you go to var, head over to stash, and themes, and then pick the theme you are going to change or need changing. So this one is LS Round. So once again, uh, you don't need to go to the uh, background this time. You do actually need to go to something else, uh, which some of I think if you are if it is supported with the languages, then you need to go to this one right here. You need to click on that one. And once again, you do need to uh, do it in a text view. So, straight away, this is pretty simple. Uh, I'm just going to pick it up again. Just zoom the camera. Sorry about this. Okay, so, straight away, you can see that it says configuration language. And it says var lang which is language and then equals en which equals english now it was originally on french which was fr uh... you can change it to dutch if you really want it which is de and italy which is it so it's pretty simple to change uh... all you do is go to this box right here in the middle of the uh... speech box well we need to click edit first and then you can go to the middle there we go and then you just change it to which one out of them languages you do use so you just type it in, E N. just save it click done go back, uh, I'm just going to put the theme on real quick if I can find Winterboard, there it is so uh, Oh crap, what was it called? Oh yes, it was round. Um, which is at the top. <laughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, so that's just a quick respring. And you can see it is in English. In a bit of a while. But now it is loaded up. So we just have to wait for it. Bang, Birmingham once again. And this part was in French. Uh here, Birmingham mostly cloudy was in French and so was the date but now it's in English which is very helpful for English people but you can also change it to different languages as well so this has been Casual Savage, I hope this video has helped you uh, I will be making a top 5 lock screen or my best lock screen theme soon and I'm sure this video will help you uh, for the themes I will be showing you so please subscribe Rate and peace.